Today we are doing a Shein maternity haul. I am 21 weeks pregnant and, well when you're watching this, 21 weeks pregnant, and I am to the point where a lot of my stuff doesn't fit anymore. I have a belly on me. Not a big one, but the clothes I was wearing like fit me perfectly and now they just don't fit. So, and I felt like I've tried looking at what feels like a billion websites of maternity stuff and I don't know if it's just like my style or what. I can't find anything I like. I can't find anything in stores. Like there's a few stores that have stuff, but either I hate it or it just doesn't look good. And then I've tried ordering stuff and I hate it and I send it back and it's just this vicious cycle and I don't have anything to wear. I've been wearing my Align leggings and like oversized sweaters since I started not fitting in my clothes and that's not professional to wear to work. And I've literally been cycling the three oversized sweaters that I have with my leggings every day. Thank God I work at two different schools. So every other day I'm at a different school so I can wear the same outfit sometimes like, well definitely twice a week and no one knows. So that's where my life's at right now with clothing. It's not going hot. So I ordered some Shein stuff. I ordered a lot of Shein stuff. I've been desperate. I am so desperate. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money on maternity because you're in it, what, nine months? And really only like six months of that, you can't wear your own clothes, or at least from my experience, that's what it is. Like once I hit that like 12 to 13 week mark, my pants were just like, no, you're wearing leggings, lady. So I'm wearing leggings. <laughs> the leggings I'm... <laughs> The leggings I'm wearing right now um, are these like Spanx leggings that are not maternity and I'm not gonna be in these super long because they're getting tight. So let me show you where I'm at right now bump wise. This is, this sweater is really, this is one of the things I'm showing you. I feel like Despicable Me, that's where my body is. <laughs> so. Yeah, oh, okay, so first thing from Shein. I actually really like this. I got a lot of compliments on it today. It's my first day wearing it. It's just like an oversized poncho. And I put on another Shein piece. It is just this like white turtleneck underneath of it that is long and stretchy. I wish it were just a tiny bit longer to like cover the vision area um, and the butt. But overall, I think it's cute and I think it's like, it looks cute on the bump too. It's not super thick, so I mean it's white. You're gonna need either a perfectly skin colored bra or just to wear like an undershirt under it or something over it like I'm doing because, well this bra is actually pretty good, but no, nope, you can still see through it. I wouldn't feel comfortable just wearing this out. <laughs> I think I have one bra that's like pretty like my color and I think it would work with it. But yeah, I'm totally gonna buy another one of these ponchos because pregnant or not pregnant, I think it's adorable. And it actually is really soft and like the stitching, now we all know she ended up perfect stitching, we know this. There are gonna be some loose threads, but overall quality, I give it for she and an A plus. Yes, yes. And I got this on sale for six bucks, so. Hmm. I think the normal ones are 12. Get it. Pregnant, not pregnant, get it. I will link everything below. Not sponsored, FYI. I've never been sponsored by Shein. Kind of wanting to now, though. Okay, but yeah. Um, this is the first thing, and then I have, let's just take this buddy off. I have this long sleeve, cute, cute. I think with like, um, I got this to go, you'll, I wish I had a better bra on, I apologies. This is why, this is what I'm saying by, you can't just wear, this is a nude colored bra and this is still doing this. Um, maybe if it were a little thicker, but I have stuff to go over this. So let's put on a few other things. The next thing I have is this, you can wear it two ways. It's a button down. This is from, I think there was only one thing that wasn't from maternity, but again, a lot of these things you can wear maternity or not. It's not like you have to be pregnant to order these things. And some of the stuff I saw people ordering um, like for plus size instead. 
don't know why I didn't just unbutton this. This feels like such good quality. It's thick, it's perfect for winter. Um, like it doesn't, I don't know, is their maternity better than their regular? It kind of feels like it. This feels really good. So I got this because one, covers the butt, covers the front, and it's adorable as houndstooth. And it looks really cute unbuttoned. So I can wear with this with leggings. My whole pregnancy is just gonna be in leggings. Um, I like wearing stuff unbuttoned mainly. So I probably will, and then I'd probably just roll these sleeves up. How cute is that? Do these pockets not, there's not pockets there. Why am I pretending? I feel like there should be pockets here, but there's none. So, love this one. A plus, again, on everything. And then the same situation situation i don't know why i say situation now is that from something or is my brain just not computing words another button down and this is another pregnancy and maternity outfit and it's so cute and it's long so again you can wear this buttoned um i think i would probably not have the turtleneck under it personally um, and ha when I'm wearing a button, but I love it under um, when it's open like this. And then again, I would roll these sleeves. This one feels cheaper, but I think it still looks cute because it has that like that felt material that you would get at a craft store. I'm okay with it. Again, actually, most of this I could still wear and I will wear outside of attorney because these are just really cute like fall winter pieces. Um, no pockets here again. I'm trying. Keeper, definitely. I try to get a lot of this stuff on sale. You might be thinking, wow, she has all winners. No, there are losers that are gonna be at the end. And when I say losers, there are big losers here at the end. Um, oh, this is the not Prego one. So I got this from the regular section. It's been in my cart forever. And I was like, you know what? I can wear this pregnant. I don't know if I have it tied right. So like. It's probably not right, but we're just going to flow with this. This is just a cute little, you call this a poncho? Um, sweater poncho. And it has, these are the things that I don't think I have tied right. And by I don't think, I'm pretty positive they're not tied right. Where did the other piece go? Okay, so it has holes and you have to like weave it through. I don't know what way you're supposed to weave them. I don't really know if there is a right way to do this or a wrong way. Somehow I always think I have the wrong, okay. Yes, here's the other one. And then you can, no, that doesn't look good. You can tie it. See, that's cute, look at that. You can kind of just like maneuver it. It's just adorable. And like if and when my belly gets bigger because it's adjustable, that's fine. And then when I'm no longer pregnant and this is hopefully washed away, then it will be how it's intended and just like cinch in really cute. I just think this looks like high fashion's not the word, but just more fashionable than my normal look. So Highly suggest it. If you're pregnant, not pregnant, doesn't matter. It's adorable. Okay, I'm gonna need a new word than adorable. All right, let's go into, I don't know, there's three more like good winners left. And um, then we're gonna go into the loser route. I don't want to put this on, so I'm not going to. I just got a basic tank top and I'm keeping it. I'm not returning this. Um, there's stretch to it. It's not the best stretch by any means in the world, but it's also not the worst. Who did I get? ASOS. I ordered um, just a plain black tank for like eight bucks. It was not stretchy at all. And at like 14 weeks, I barely fit in it. So I'm like, no, thank you. Sending you back. Um, and yeah, this is, I think this was like three bucks 
and it's gonna work for what I need it to. If I need an under tank, what I really want is a nude one so I can wear it under this. Okay, I'm gonna change um, pants and shirt real quick. Not on camera, obviously. <laughs> I wouldn't style these two together. I don't think so. Maybe with something over it. So like bear with me right now. I have the same black turtleneck as a white one. Um, and it's not see-through, at least not with a nude bra. And I love this one. I do. I'm out of breath. I have it tucked in. So this is probably not what I would wear it with. But I just bought some black work pants that I really needed that are like stretchy, kind of loose, but not loose. And they have pockets on them and they're really cheap feeling. I'm not gonna lie. They have an expandable buckle thing. So like I have it tightened pretty far right now, which is kind of giving me some weird crinkles, but I probably wear something like lower on this and maybe not tucked in. But I think if I wore like a, shirt over top of it. I don't think it looks awful with this tucked in, but I haven't actually tried it, so we'll see. I don't know. I wish the lighting are better in here because I literally can't see on my screen right now what this looks like or how bad it looks. I hope it doesn't look that bad because this is actually really comfy. These pants are not high quality at all. I am a little afraid they will rip just because of how like cheap they feel but they're comfy and right now there's no rips in it so i guess i'll just wear it until that happens but maybe it won't but this is one of those pieces where i'm probably not gonna get more than one like maternity use out of you know like i well, I better get more than one use out of it but like will i keep it for my next pregnancy probably not i don't trust them enough um i think this is cute i would wear this with like my brown boots, I don't have them on right now because I just really wanted to not have shoes after working all day. But yeah, this is the last two things that I have in the keep pile. Um, I feel like this makes me look pregnant more so than my leggings does just because it has more fabric. Okay, let's go on to the um, heck nose. They're already boxed up without the tape, so we're gonna unbox them. Okay, five heck no's. Why is that a no? I don't remember. It's been a month since I've, I hope I can still return this. Um, we're gonna do the shoes first because I'm not putting them on. They don't fit well. Sitting down for this, the first pair I got are, I think they call them smoker shoes. They're just like, kind of like Hugh Hefner velvet uh, mules. Oxford's something of that nature and they were supposed to be super comfy but they're too big and honestly just not my style so I'm not keeping them unless I have to keep them <laughs> we'll find out and the next pair I bought are that same style not velvet feeling they're like uh, quilted and they are too big and look like elf shoes on me they kind of look cute on camera. A little pointy and longer than I expected, um, but they don't fit, so it wasn't even an option to like consider them. Too big. Sizing is always weird with uh, Shein, so I never really, I always look at reviews and like see if anyone else has a size nine, what they got. And the last one, I like these a lot, um, but they were too small. <laughs> Again, sizing is weird, like too small. Could not wear these. They are cute though. They're just like, they're not white, they're cream boots. They feel super cheap, but I just like them for the style. Uh, and I don't think they have them in a bigger size, unfortunately. I think the size I got was the largest they had. But I'm gonna try to look for them, we'll see. Shoes are definitely a gamble when you're ordering. And I don't even know if you can return shoes. I have not looked into that. We'll find out. You know what, let's go for the jeans. These are almost comical. I almost loved them, and you'll see. Let me put them on. I got a size medium. I didn't even tell you that. I got medium in everything. Maternity medium, though. Like, when you go maternity, you usually get the same size you normally would, because I'd usually get a medium 
and regular if I went pregnant. Let me go put these on. Okay, we have them on. And here's the thing. This view is perfect. These are stretchy. They fit the length perfectly. Um, I love the color. <laughs> I um, love everything that's happening. They are too big right now. So like they are just like loose up here, but like in a month from now, yes, please. I need this. Um, I love that they're high waist. You cannot find, you can't find this. I need help finding this. You can't find high waisted leggings. Anything and jeggings, I mean. Um, all of my shirts are like cropped ish to an extent. And like the thing with maternity clothes is that the jeans always end right here and then there's just fabric. You can't wear shorter shirts with maternity jeans. You just can't. So I found these and I was like, yes. They are perfect, they are perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't mind if that's showing if I have on, like a lot of my sweaters usually go like right to here. So like they're covering my belly, they're not cropped to that point, but they're like, you know, at my belly button. Like I'd be fine with that. Here's my problem with these. Okay, do you see where the butt pockets are? I'm so confused. Why did they do this? Like they're high and they're to the side. What is happening here? I. There's just something about this that just is wrong. And everything else is so right. So I'm gonna try to reorder a different pair that maybe doesn't have. I sh I've read the reviews and people were saying, you know, like I love these other than the weird butt pockets and I didn't understand what they meant until I ordered them. So. If I were just wearing like shirts like this all the time, which I don't own, I own two now because I just bought them, um, where you couldn't really see, I don't know. They're just, unfortunately, they're going back. But if you have suggestions where you know of like um, high-waisted options, uh, please let me know. I'm looking so hard for them. Oh, this one, oh, this one, okay. Um, let me... <laughs> See what else we're working with. Oh, I'm not even gonna put these on because they just like are no. Like you can, I can see you through these. I oh, I don't know if you can see my face, but these are so trans. Yeah, these are so transparent. So not even I didn't even put them on. Like automatically, you know, not going to show my body <laughs> through my pants. Oh, and then I got, I don't know what I was thinking. I got these uh, joggers that are completely ripped up through them and it's cold here, like there's snow here. Uh, I'm not gonna want this on myself and leave the house. And they're huge because I got a large and that's because that's the only side they had. Um, and even like tightened on the belt buckle, like they were just way too big. So returning those. I don't remember why I have this in this pile. Oh, now I do. I forgot what this was. So this is a vest and I am notorious for buying vests and never wearing them because I hate how they look on me. So I love the pattern. I think this is cute. I think the material is like really well made. Um, but I think I look like an Oompa Loompa and it just is not flattering and they never off. I don't understand. The models make it look so cute and then I like buy it and put it on pregnant or not. I just look, um, like a square. I just feel like a long rectangle in this. My cat is trying to suffocate himself right now. So yeah, if you are someone that loves vests and like you like how they look on you, um, this is an A+. plus. This feels so good. It's so soft and the quality is really nice and it feels luxurious. Like this feels like a $60 vest. I'm pretty sure it was like 13 bucks. And the last thing, if you just want to look like a tarp, this is your shirt. But if you don't, um, don't buy it because, oh my God, <laughs> I forgot how awful this was. This is not what I should look like under here. If you, you know what, I take that back. If you want to look like so super pregnant, um, 
immediately once getting pregnant this is your shirt this is it it gives you nothing you're a balloon it is awful i've never felt so fat in my life than putting this shirt on and i don't know about you guys but like that's not the vibe i'm going for and it's not great quality either so this neck hole barely expands to like go over my head let me move the camera because this is a very unflattering um, and uncomfortable angle. And you know what? None of these angles are. And I'm wearing the shirt, so we're just going to deal with this. Um, anyways, that was everything. I had some wins. I'm really happy with the wins I did have from Shein. I think that's going to help me um, at least have a full week's worth of clothes to wear and not wear the same stuff every other day, depending on what location I'm at that day for work. So that's helpful. And I just don't know if you've ever been pregnant before, but like, I don't have that glow that they talked about. So anything that makes me feel semi-okay, like wearing and putting on my body, like will hopefully help me emotionally inside too. Yes. And also leave in the comments below any maternity like places you go to. I, I just can't find it. I cannot find it. And none of the stores around me have like maternity sections, so I'm stuck with like looking online, which is also like I'm someone I like to I like to be in the store feeling things. I'm like a, I'm someone that has like a weird thing with fabric, so I'm just overall a hard person to please when it comes to fashion. So, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna win at this game, which is why I'm happy I have this stuff. Anyways. Love you guys. That's all I have to go. The sun is like <laughs> dying on me. It's going down so quickly and just winter time in general is really hard to film because like I get off work, I get home around 4 30 and then I have like half an hour max to film. So we're doing it. We're done. Um, max say goodbye before we leave. Goodbye. <laughs> He's such a whiny little boy. Um, love you guys. See you soon in another video. Maybe with another maternity haul. Maybe not. Maybe an activewear haul. I went to the gym once this week. Ugh. That's that's a whole nother battle. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Bye.